pros. And I actually really do need this because I was just talking over here to, to Captain Item and of course uh, uh, Fire Inspector Janae Kelson about, about the fact that I haven't touched a fire extinguisher in like 20 years. Yeah. But we have one in the home and I'm supposed to be the man of the house. I should know how to use it. Thank goodness you guys are here to help me out. So um, you've actually been t going around, you taught a couple of classes during the state fair. Just teaching folks how to remain, I guess, up to speed on how to deploy and use your fire extinguisher. And you'll be doing some more courses coming up, right? That's correct. So they'll be coming up on Wednesday and Saturday, and we'll have the information linked to our site at GoodDaySacramento.com, where you can actually come out. It takes five minutes to kind of refresh your memory on how to use this properly. All right. Where do we start? What am I going to do? All right. So the first thing you want to know is the word pass. Yes. You want to think of pass, and that's how you're going to be able to use this extinguisher. Okay. The P in pass stands for pull the pin. Yes. Once you yank this out, you want to stand about 10 feet back, and you want to aim the nozzle at the base of the fire. Okay. Then the first S is after you pull, aim, you want to squeeze the lever, okay. and then you sweep back and forth. Okay. You just keep going. As it dies down, you can get a little closer. And, of course, always call 911. Okay, so, so. what we're going to do is figure out if I can actually use this properly. And then uh, you're going to tell me exactly how long I should stay with this and when I should actually just drop it and get out of the house. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. All right, so I'm, you're going to set my fire there? So you're going to... We're going to light the fire. We're going to light it up. Okay. Okay, so this is an act where it's a fire now. All right, so we've come into a room and we've decided that there's a fire. Oh, now this thing's going off. Okay, so the first thing I do is pull the pin. Pull the pin. Ah. Pin is out. Take this out. Aim it. Yes, sir. I'm going to stand 10 feet back. Okay. And Absolutely. I'm going to squeeze. Squeeze. And just sweep back and forth. And as you. Now, this is an extreme fire. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> this is a fire. And you can get closer. And oh. just keep going. You don't want to stop. You got more fire there. Don't be going yet. So. That's a good lesson to know because one of these fire extinguishers only lasts between. I was going to say, yeah, it went out. Yeah, so it only lasts between 10 to 30 seconds. So oh. you really want to make sure it's a small fire. Oh. Uh, and you want to maximize. You don't want to waste any. You want to make sure that you're directly aiming at the base of that fire to get absolutely. the most out of it. So you want to make sure it's a small fire. Okay. If it's large, get out. Um, if it's small, remember. 10 seconds to 30 seconds at the most. Yeah. So you really want to use it wisely. Small trash can or even a small kitchen fire right. because actually 50% of the residential fires start in the kitchen. Ah. So small, if it, say it's something that you're cooking or the oven, mm -hmm. you want to shut that oven and try and turn off the gas source. Right. If you don't have that or if it's not safe, just get out. Call 911 immediately. Even if the fire is already out, you always want to call 911 to make sure that the fire crews come to make sure that your facility is safe. I think I handled that very well. I think you did too. I think I yes, handled sir. that. Don't say anything, Captain Adam. Don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> you did amazing. But the most important thing is that you take that extra five minutes to kind of uh, refresh yourself on how this works. And once again, we mentioned on Wednesday and Saturday of this week, SAC Metro Fire are going to be having some courses in areas to kind of give folks that, uh, that primer. To get Absolutely. Them back up to we speed. want people to, to be comfortable. If you have that emergency situation, having touched a fire extinguisher, knowing where it is in your house, yeah. there's a ton of fires that occur in the kitchen. Have it under your kitchen sink. Have another one in your garage. Wherever you th wherever it's most likely to be needed, have your extinguisher and be comfortable using it. Check it out. Make sure it's still in this little green zone up there at the top. Aha. Okay. You want to make sure it's in that green zone because you want it to work when you need it. Absolutely. And then, of course, you can have a, you can actually set up a, a course for yourself. Maybe you have a, a homeowners association or you have neighbors you want to get together. We'll have that information for you at GoodDaySacramento.com. So you can send them an email and they'll come to you. Cool, Lisa? All right. Great stuff. Thanks so much, Ken. 740.